They're for our carrot puree, added Caroline, to go with savory scallops. Food processor, they both shouted at once. Chef Nancy looked at her watch. Ten minutes left. Tate pulled the carrots from the oven and checked them. They're still not done. We need more roasting time. Caroline grabbed a spoon and scooped them up into the food processor. There's no more time. We just have to use them as is. But, Tate started to protest. Caroline stopped and turned. It's better than no sauce. Time wound down quickly. Hot pan, foamy butter, one minute aside, that's how to sear scallop. Oliver was giving Ray a quick lesson, but something had changed. Instead of sounding bossy, it was helpful. Caroline dropped a teaspoon of coconut oil into her hot pan, swirled the pan to coat it, then placed three seasoned scallops in the center. Five minutes left, shouted Chef Nancy. Tate, faster, we have to get that puree done. Tate held up a jar of honey and shook it. I can't get it open. Caroline left the stove to help. She was only gone for a minute, but scallops cook fast. When she got back, two of the scallops were cooked to perfection, but the third one was smoking. She scraped it loose from the pan, but it was too late. The underside was charred black. No, no, no! Caroline banged her spatula against the stove. Tate looked worried. Is there another one? Caroline shot him a look. Tate looked around and whispered, We'll cut off the bad part. Scallops are really hard to cook. Can't forget about them, not even for a second, because they can easily overcook. No one wants to eat a rubbery scallop. Janet brought her camera in for a close-up just as Tate was slicing the charred crust off the scallop. Great, grumbled Caroline. Mistake number one for the whole world to see. Wait, Tate shot her a sneaky smile. If I do this, he turned the cut scallop upside down and placed it on the plate next to the other two. No one can tell. It looks perfect. Caroline poked it with her finger. Rubbery. Hopefully Chef Nancy would try one of the others. 30 seconds, called Chef Nancy, but the last seconds of the challenge were loud and busy. Time! Eight hands shot into the air. Chef Nancy pointed to the front of the room. Please follow me and bring your dishes to the front of the table. Caroline nudged Tate. You carry it. I'm too nervous. Tate put the plates down without disturbing even a single microgreen. Caroline studied the competition. Visually, they were evenly matched. The real test would be the taste. So she rotated the plate so the good scallops were facing out. As long as Chef Nancy didn't choose the bad scallop, they had a chance. Actually, more than a chance. Their carrot puree was amazing. It was sweet, rich, and delicious. Okay, so how does Ray's opinion of Oliver change? So we see a character change here. How does her opinion change of Oliver? Analyze the plot. I want you to underline details in paragraph 50 that explain why Caroline is upset. How do Tate and Caroline try to fix their mistake? So you need to give me three parts. First, what do they do? Then what do they do? And then finally, how do they fix it? And react and write. Why was Caroline nervous about carrying the dish to the front table? Cite text evidence.